Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. It's time we went back into space. We spent far too much time previous episode, with many cuts, bimbling around in the atmosphere. So let's go back into space. Let's start with making a bit of cash. Um, so I've taken this contract. Ooh. Um, contract Act 2 is one I put up uh, off camera. Um, and they want me to gently adjust its location. Now, previously you saw me take the Contract Sat 1 mission. And yeah, that's what's ongoing. If I bring up the Kerbal alarm clock, you see we've got another go away. 19 days uh, until the scheduled maneuver um, to move Contract Sat 1 to where it should be going. So if we can pop back, back to the tracking station. You can see there's the orbit we're heading to. And there's Contract Sat 1. With the maneuver queued to adjust its inclination <laughs> um, and I think that maneuver is also well let's go and have a look let's fly, fly contrast at one so it's 75 fuel ready so go to the vessel we've got 1.1 thousand one thousand hundred eleven hundred meters per second worth of delta V left on this craft and we have a maneuver scheduled that will perfectly get us into our contract stuff. It's just going to be in 19 days. So I figured, well, why spend the time? So I didn't bother. Um, contract sat 2, on the other hand, switch 2, has an awful lot less fuel. Um, I don't know why. I think I probably just screwed up some of the orbital parameters or getting into orbit because it's in a much lower orbit, um, the contract sat 2. I'm assuming it perhaps was a slightly different craft, or I made it heavier or something. But anyway, I didn't do a good job. So here's our target orbit. That's the orbit we're in. And the blue one, confusingly, is the orbit we want to get in. So, I think, since we are in essentially currently an equatorial orbit, um, we want to see if we can add a maneuver. Uh, that one and that one. I would like you to be on our descending node. That looks like it lines up. So, I would like to increase our radial until our post burn inclination is 9.1. Ah, that must change the increment. So we've got 382, and that's not including mistakes. 38 minutes until the node. So we've got a bit of time. Let's try and get this perfect. Notice it's adding a minus in here. That's automatically adjusting to make sure that we don't change our apoapsis or periapsis. Nice little bit about this mod is it makes sure you when you burn, it keeps things all nice and angled, or all nice and the same. Alright, 9.3 is enough. So I think that will put us on the same inclination. Now, then it's a case of we're going to have to do that burn, and then I think we'll have to wait and see where we are. I don't think it's going to take much to get our orbits out, but let's see, if I would add radial, yeah, it wouldn't have the effect that I want. Nope. Let's actually max it out and just see, what does it do? Alright, so it does rotate the orbit, but we don't have nearly enough fuel to do that. All right, 0.4 is enough. So let's go ahead and make that maneuver. So let's go back to our spacecraft. And 
try and figure out... There we go. There's our maneuver node. Estimated burn time 1.9 seconds, so... If I bring that down to 20%, estimated burn time of 9 seconds. That give me a bit more fine control to make sure we stay on target. So, let's go back out to the map. Margin of 3 minutes? Yes, please. And I will keep an eye on it myself. It's Kerbal. I've got that one. Yes, it does. <coughs> All right. Time to node nine minutes. Time to burn eight minutes. Five, four, three. Ah, and the time warp is engaging properly. Thank you. Uh, three minutes out. It's a bit far. All right, 20 seconds. On target. Ten, nine, eight, six, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignite. Disengage. Call good enough. All right. Interesting. So I think we might be add maneuver. Right click. So the question is. Yeah, I think it's radial, and it's a no, it's a radial burn we need to do. Bring the spacecraft around. And then we need to... So the amount of apoapsis burn we need is tiny. But we don't have enough fuel! Um, so, let's cancel the manoeuvre. And let's look at what would have happened if we were to add the maneuver over here. Right, so maybe do that. So it's radial that way. Ooh, okay, that's changing things a bit. Get you to line up about there, and then Rust a bit. Pull in. Reduce. And the answer is roughly the same. We can't do the contract. Well, that is a deep, deep shame. Back to the space center we go to say, I'm sorry, but we don't have the fuel for that. Um, it's not the first time it's done that. Um, I wish it would check. But adjust curb and sat too. No, we're going to lose the money we got and a little bit of reputation. That's a shame, but it happens. Um, position satellites in various places. All right. Well, in that case, let's do this one. While cleaning up after initiation, one of the work and work team at Scan raised an interesting question. We're trying to figure it all out if the matter of yours is as dense as in Kerbin. We haven't come up with a conclusive test for it. This is why we're here. Perform a radar scan of the moon. So this will be Adventure 2. So we will start with our original ScanSat. Do I have the original ScanSat? Science Roller, Searcher, Swivel Pod, Polar Explorer, Kerbin Scan. So, that's got a five and a bit thousand Delta V available. 
So we know that our adventure one had 5.2 and was able to get into lunar orbit. All right. So let's have a go back at Kerbin Scan 1 and load you up. So, this is an object with only 21 parts, so we can make this go further and faster. So, we've got three fuel tanks. We can replace those two with a single, much larger tank. And in fact, let's just go the whole hog go for two large tanks. I would like four fins and a swivel engine. 5.8 delta V. Go away. Got power. We got a thermometer on it as well, just in case. Apparently we love putting thermometers on it. We've got a transmitter. What have we got in here? It's a standard little engine. So if we were to upgrade that fuel tank, we've now got 6,000 and a bit delta V. Now here's the thing, we need to get into quite a high inclination orbit. We can cheat this a little bit by um, making sure our insertion comes in under the moon um, with careful timing. So having plenty of delta V to make sure we do that helps. Alright, and since we're only at 19 parts, what we can do is add a radial decoupler. There. Put the snap back on, shall we? And strap on a hammer SRB. Now we're up to seven and a half thousand delta V. Nice. That should get us moving. That should really get us moving. So now we've got three and a bit thousand. 3.6 thousand to get us out of Kerbin's atmosphere. And because we do have. Do, 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 where's aerodynamic? So, for the cost of 6 delta V, we can improve our aerodynamics for that early part of the launch. Alright, fire those, then ditch them. Fire and ditch at the same time. Fire and launch. Alright. This is not Kerbin Scan 1. This is Adventure 2. Dash. Radar. So let's just double check that that science object is the radar altimetry scanner. No, I don't want that one. I want this one. Science data from the moon. Low resolution solution then. Low resolution altimetry scan. You are a altimetry scanner. Alright. Six charge a minute. Uh, electric, electric, electric. 0.3 a second. Alright, we've probably done this calculation before. 31 parts, apparently. Well, in that case, it looks like we're losing the thermometer. <laughs> There we go, 30 parts, all the way to the moon to do some scanning. Save and launch. Shall we go to the moon today? Yes, let's go to the moon today. SAS turn on. Alright, surface vessel staging is good. Don't need the contract HUD up. All right, let's get into a polar orbit of the moon. Boom. All right, we've got four of these. 
and the throttle and they are quite powerful so we are going to end up going quite quickly off the deck which is fine it's fine we expect it it's all speed we can just use later on you're still going yeah you're still going and fire all right let's angle over shall we fine. Yes, we lost a fair bit of speed. Let's throttle up and just follow the probe right over. So, obviously, if we don't make it with Adventure 1 radar, we will accept the loss. We're not going to revert. We're just going to put it in an orbit that we might find useful. And then we will be reducing the thrust on the SRBs so they don't end up going quite so fast or so soon. We have a bit of inclination, so let's knock that down a little bit. I don't really want much inclination. The moon isn't at any inclination. The only inclination we add here is something to take away later on. Barely thrusting away. Thoroughly out of the atmosphere now. All about getting that up to 75, and then we shut this engine down, coast, and then hopefully I have enough delta V to get ourselves into a sensible orbit. There's 60k. Let's just follow the program marker. Don't need to be burning up quite so much. 75 is there. All right. I've got to remember. <laughs> No authority on this thing at all. Time to wrap up in a minute. Add maneuver to apoapsis. Post burn apoapsis. Should be. There ish. That'll do. Time to burn. One minute. Right, I'm going to put a little bit of trickle feed on just to get this thing to tilt over. Right, so it's a thousand delta V. Got 800 in this stage. That means we're going to have. Really should have put another reaction wheel on this. Whoa, she's slow. So we're only going to have to, oh, I mean, it's going to have about three and a half thousand delta V to get to the moon. Position ourselves in a sensible location. Time to burn, 20 seconds. You can waggle those fins all you want, they don't do much. Obviously this, I don't know how much this is taking into account the fact that halfway through this we're going to be changing engine, but we'll find out in a sec. Prefer not to have the stage in the middle of a maneuver, but bang, off we go. Let's follow that maneuver node as best we can. Point in here. There's the node, and we're pretty on schedule for halfway. A little bit right. and thrust and engage. Follow the maneuver node to get our orbit. Reduce thrust. Kill. And you're also going to be one of those ro little robots that's very hard to maneuver. Let's get our uh, orbit nicely circular. Nice. All right. So, we want to go to the moon, because that's where we're headed. Add maneuver. Thrust. Until... Alright, that's apparently a lunar encounter. So I want to put it about there-ish, so our apoapsis is there. And then we'll rotate that until we hit the moon. So let's 
focus on the moon. You can see we're coming in at this angle. So, we pop that up and add the normal or radial. We want to come in above it. <laughs> so, if I reduce. Alright, so that changes that quite by quite a bit. Alright, that's fine. Don't want to have to do a maneuver out right here, it'll be expensive. It's our current time to burn. It just means we've gone past it, we're in a safe orbit. Oh, okay, it's only 300. And then what we'd need to do quite the burn. No, reset. <laughs> So coming in over the top, and then we want to put another maneuver here to break. And your what? Another 194. All right, that's not impossible. That's not impossible. So with that in mind, let's get ourselves on the way to the moon, and then we can plot a maneuver along here that will adjust our course. But at the moment we've got a periaps of 105. So we need to be quite low. Um, so what we'll do is we'll start off quite high. We'll come up with a high polar orbit and then we'll work from there. But in the interim we need to burn 800 or delta V. So. We've apparently already missed that maneuver. So let's park ourselves on the maneuver node. And then... Alright, one of these buttons changes the focus. Where are we? There we go. Again. Is it Tab? It is Tab. Duna, Ike, Drez, Jewel, Lath, Val, Tylo, Bop, Pole, Elu, Spacecraft. Alright, so Ab Maneuver. Bow. So we want to cross the orbit. Focus view. Bring us in there. So we... That'll do. So shift tab. Does that. Alright. Oh, shit. Apparently I was burning a little bit there because I pushed to shift. So I've extended my apoapsis needlessly. Alright. Really should be a way of getting back to your spacecraft. A little bit easier. It doesn't involve dashing around quite so much. Alright. Happen over here. It's about 800 delta V. And then, yeah, we are behind the spacecraft. Move until we get... Uh, 
a Munar encounter. That will do. All right. Done. Burn time, 17 seconds. Walk to me to the mover, please. Apparently I burnt a little bit of fuel. I burnt 200 delta V. Um, but unfortunately it was vaguely in the right direction. Oh well. Games and fun. Bring you around. So this stop the time off exactly three minutes but two. Time to burn two minutes. Alright. Let's get the yonder spacecraft pointed in the right direction. Which is essentially going to be prograde, but it's pointed about there ish. 18 seconds. Let's get Adventure 2 radar on its way to the moon. 5 ish, 4 ish, 3, 2, 1, ignite. I wish there was a way you could zoom in on that a little bit more. There's our apparatus. Let's uh, pitch the angle so you, you can see it while I'm desperately watching this to make sure this doesn't go too far away. And kill the burn. Give me a trickle to finish off. As you saw when we were playing around with the earlier orbit we had, in that it just literally 10 degree, 10 meters a second makes the difference between us being on target for our lunar encounter and not being on target for our lunar encounter. And I want, very specifically, to be very close. All right, there we go. It's To focus on the moon. Alright, so there's our flyby of the moon. And here's our outbound trajectory. Afterwards, we end up in that orbit. So it, it gives us a fair bit of an acceleration. So if we were to put a maneuver here, and we were to burn radially. Would not help in the slightest. Alright. Let's cancel that then. If we were to put a maneuver here and burn normal, we'd be able to pull it in. Alright. We burn outwards, it does that. Alright. Let's do a maneuver node again. If we were to put a maneuver here and we were to increase our speed, we would come in. Or out. In or out. Alright. So it looks like we ideally need to be inside. So how is it you... So I need to put some up or down closer. Cancel. Add maneuver. Right. Let's just put a bit in here. If I roll this all the way over here... Nope. <laughs> okay, fair enough. That's not making enough difference. Alright, looks like we'll be doing this in the moon sphere of influence. So, let's do it as early as we possibly can. So the further out we are, the better. And I would like a post-burn inclination of somewhere around 89.
Nice. All right. So you can see we're just wanging off into the distance with that one. So let's cancel that maneuver. Got 2.8 to do. Add a maneuver and we'll bring up our precision targeting. I don't think we need you. So we would like to burn normal until our post burn inclination is 89. Thank you very much. It's pretty much already. Now you can see we are then very much wanging off in a different direction. So we need to decelerate. by quite a bit. Apparently we also need to... Oops, it's the wrong button. Pull that in a bit. See, it's all about total acceleration. We are adding less speed now. <laughs> so I want to bring that back down to 89 because we went over 90. There we go. And now we're going to continue to decelerate so that we come over the pole. <laughs> Looks like we're encountering the moon again. Wrong one. Reset. Let's try this again, shall we? Burn normal. Till such time as the angle is around 90. Alright. Now, if I increase that, we're just going faster. Alright, so let's just ditch that. Add maneuver. It's not quite, it's coupling a bit too much for my liking, so. It's not quite behaving. So let's just do that, because I know this is just adding velocity in that direction. Up to 89. And then retrograde. So what this is doing is changing the direction marker. basically pulling these two like this <laughs> yeah they're just cancelling each other out interesting alright add maneuver here break into an orbit That'll do. Add maneuver here. Right, so. Oops. You're 192. Or 300 and something. Put an A2, 300 and something will get us in the orbit that we want. Alright. So I want an orbit ab maneuver. Snap to periapsis. Park me. Vaguely circular. 
Nice. Done. Back to the spacecraft. Let's rotate ourselves around. Sorry about the fiddling. It's just trying to understand how... I, I get. I have a reasonably good idea in my head how um, the coupling works. How it works when I'm just burning retrograde and prograde. It's there are an awful lot of coupling, coupled forces apparently on display. Um, and the two methods I have of changing my maneuver nodes don't necessarily agree with each other. So, alarm clock. Add. Sphere Villain change. Add alarm. And warp. It's only taking three hours. This orbit. Contrast that one in. It's a very slow orbit. Well, apparently there's my warp to maneuver node. Why is the little button over here? Get rid of you. Go here, please. All right, we are now in the sphere of influence. Oh, kill the time. Go back to the spacecraft. Did I take the antenna off, or did the antenna break? All right, I've only got a signal strength of twenty-six. Whoops. Okay then. Um, well, let's find out <laughs> what happens when we um, get out here. Do we have... Yeah, we do. It's going to be crap, but apparently we've got some signal. Just. I could have sworn this thing had an antenna. Really could have sworn this thing had an antenna. Alright, and that it doesn't. I missed it, but it should be alright. It is just a deceleration burn here. You should see it come in pretty sudden quickly. And if I get my controls in order, I should just be able to do a tap burn here. And it will park us up. Alright, so I'm not convinced I actually have radar radio connection on the out here. So I'm gonna put my All right, there we go. Maneuver to change inclination out here. And I will use this one on this case. So, put me at so the postman inclination. Is 90. So we've got 2,647's worth of delta V. And we need... 89.2, we need a grand total of 401. Shiny. Back to the map. Warp. Yes, we do indeed lose connection on the dark side of the moon. Fun. Alright, so we should come out of time warp in a sec. Yes, we do. Point this over here. Now you can see, because I used the maneuver thing, it put us in a location where it's like, oh, that works. So it's balanced out so that our orbit stays the same size. So I haven't had to pull back at all. All right, so two minutes or so on the maneuver node. Doesn't matter how precise we are as long as we're actually on it. 
So six is point our second burn. One fire. Kill. Trickle. See the various indicators showing our orbit inclination have gone all the way around in different places. Cancel. Current inclination 89.99. Alright. I'll take that. <laughs> That's about as polar an orbit as you can possibly get. So let's find out. Start scan. Altitude is too high. Okay. And our electric charge is fine. So we need to go lower. We're in an essentially quite circular orbit, so I'm not too concerned. So add maneuver. Would you be so kind as to just put it ahead of the spacecraft? Decelerate to post burn periapsis. Bring us below seventy five. If you would be so kind. Is there a way of... I'll just click that one, I suppose. Let's see, is that actually adding an alarm clock? No, it hasn't. So I have no idea how much of a margin this is going to give me. Apparently not much of one. Alright, I need to get to my maneuver node. over here. It shows a lazy arm, I can't be able to actually wait a minute. Which is burn retrograde. I could have done it anywhere, really, because I'm in a mostly secular orbit. I just don't want to plow into the moon. Very up his height. I just want to go back up again. Cancel the maneuver. Bring me down to 75,000. Alright. Inclination is pretty good. Altitude is too high. Walk me to my periapsis. Altitude is ideal. Alright then. We are the time walk? Yeah, we are. Altitude is ideal. Nice. Well, if that's the case, then I will point retrograde and simply burn that apoapsis. Woo! Too far! Far too far! Oh god, this thing is so sluggish to spin around. Remember, it spins and then it stops spinning. And then it's not there. Anyway, I will get the hang of that eventually. Bring my apoapsis down to just around 70 or so. Throttle. Done. All right. Inclination is 90. We are scanning the moon. Yes, we are. Nice. So we've got lovely coverage over the poles because we're so high. So kill that one. So that's Kerbin the Mun. 
It looks like our track is pretty good. It's pretty frequent. I'm not anticipating that we're going to have too much problem. But if those blue and yellow markers line up, um, then you're in this weird scenario where you'll have gaps. Um, because they're not lining up and they're pretty scattered, it indicates that we will eventually go over every part of the moon. So we're obviously not going to get the contract anytime soon, but... We can pop that one up. Excuse me a sec while I... Apparently, I've uh, got myself a tooltip that's gone a little bit weird. So let's... Alright, so I do know that that alarm clock will fire just to make that maneuver. How fast can we speed time up above this body? Alright, there we go. Scan of the moon, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, so we got to go above 10,000 when we're this low. Shouldn't take too long. 53%, 75% is our target. It looks like we'll be getting a complete scan of the moon. I see it? Yeah, 100%. You can see our contact with the Kerbin is glitching in and out because the, um, the antenna broke or I took it off at some point. Anyway, something went wrong and we don't have an antenna. Fortunately, it still works even though it's not when it's not in contact. So there's our mission done. And since we've been going for 45 minutes now anyway, I will finish up this episode by getting a complete radar altimetry scan of the moon. Every single last little bit of it. Well, there we go. Kill the time warp. And that's Adventure 2 Radar in position. Excellent work. Grainy Mark Image, we've recovered, it, it, for, we've recovered our experts. I'm very excited to see what they can do. <laughs> Despite the Grainy Image. Nice. And that's Adventure 2. Great. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I be the Marmoset. That was a laborious episode in me learning how the maneuver node system works and learning that various bits of it are coupled in that the mod I've got balances your prograde and retrograde accelerations to make sure that you don't go bouncing around all over the place. The orbit stays the same width. Um, and that one doesn't. And that sometimes that just doesn't quite work and you need to separate the maneuvers. Because apparently trying to enter a parking orbit and changing the inclination of said parking orbit at the same time is a little bit beyond my method. So, that said, we now have 2000 Delta V in this rocket left. So if they decide they want us to, want us to park a spacecraft in a high inclination orbit, then we've got a spacecraft with a lot of Delta V here to do maneuvers to get contracts. So Adventure 2 radar might find itself bimbling all over the place. That said, I am kind of keen on just leaving it where it is. I think um, this spacecraft, this version, has shown itself to be very capable. So by taking the radar package off the top, we've got a little satellite that can certainly get us to the moon, possibly even back. Ooh. Bye for now. Oh, like, comment, and subscribe as usual.